The only thing consistent about this weather pattern is that Mondays have been beautiful. Glad I chose that day to, to tape the Board Living Surf Report. And what a surprise the surf has been. Oh great. Our camera's waterproof. <laughs> Just when you think it's calm, you go out to the water and there's a wave. Last week, Hurricane Gordon sent us a wave from close to the Azores. 3,000 miles. It was a 17 second period and it lasted three days, Wednesday to Saturday. That was amazing. Everything was breaking. All the points and sandbars. This secret spot. And now we have a storm named Isaac in the Gulf of Mexico. Let's go to Florida. And that storm is the same one that was progged by the computer models a couple of weeks ago to be near New England this week, but instead it's going to be closer to Missouri. So the weather is unpredictable and you always got to look at the cams every day. Right now this is about a two foot swell every 10 seconds and this is generated by a mini nor'easter that formed over Virginia over the weekend while Isaac was all getting the headlines in Florida. The Virginia storm was spawning tornadoes with a foot of rain and it generated a five foot swell at Rhode Island on Sunday and now it's generating this swell wrapping the cape. That's all I can say is it's wrapping the cape. And what's next? The high pressure system is going to come in from the west and that's going to produce a west wind, a fairly strong west wind and some uh, fairly warm air for Friday and Thursday and Friday heading into Labor Day weekend. And then the remnant of Isaac may come up and that could threaten our Sunday Monday on the weekend it may try and generate a little wave that goes south of us because another high is going to go to our north. <laughs> nice ride on cue. Can I disclose your name? So the forecast is for a, a, a front with thunderstorms Tuesday, not much wave action. The wind will be going from the south to the west and it'll be a northwest wind on Wednesday morning. Could be gusting past 30 for a short time. That'll generate a swell offshore and then we're going to have another cold front come through on Friday night or Saturday. Ahead of that a west wind with warm air. Behind that on Sunday we may actually get into a northeast wind again and if Isaac or the remnant runs south of us we may end up with a little mini nor'easter on Labor Day believe it or not. Right on cue. Man, it's amazing. <laughs> More entertainment than I can provide. <laughs> Thank you Surf Say. Reporting from the shore, it's Surfse and Surfski Weatherman. Oh, here's another one. Let's get it. Even more amazing is I'm not getting my camera wet. You are a superstar. All right, this isn't part of the. Inside, calling inside. <laughs> <laughs> 